Hi, it's time to talk about resizing. As you can see in our project, we have an issue when we try to resize the window. For example, pressing F12 to see in order to see the development tools. And the window, the image, the canvas the, is not resizing. So we can fix the problem just using JavaScript. So now to fix that problem we are going to create an ECMAScript 6 module named resizing precise sorry and we are going to create a class named resize and we are going to create an instance named resize easy peasy in the method in the method start we are going to put a, we are going to receive a renderer and it will be a property of this class but we are going to set by default this property as null and we are going to add to the window an event listener the event resize is going to trigger a handle event handler name this resize and we are going to bind the context which will be the same instance and this uh, line have the opposite process which is remove the add event listener from this uh, from the window so in the method resize we are going to use this which is going is pointing to the instance the same instance of the class and it's going to point to the renderer of that instance and here we are going to do as the same thing we have done here copy the new size of the window because we are assuming that the canvas has the same size of the window and that is not all we need to make some changes even in the camera as you remember in the perspective camera the second parameter is the aspect uh, we have set it by the through the constructor constructor method uh, but if we're looking for information in the official library documentation of this library um, we will see that we can reset the aspect ratio through a parameter through a property i mean so you can see aspect is the second parameter in the constructor method and also is a property where that allows us to change the proportion of the height and width of the camera so we need to just copy these values that will be new ones and we can just incorporate the camera using the webpack library in this way camera control space releasing them enter and now we can put aspect and equal to that values but we need to use this method which allows us the change has a effect so that's why we are going to write camera and the projection metrics if we see more information about this method you will find that this method update the camera projection matrix and must be called after any change of parameters so that's why we do this now we are in we are able to incorporate this functionality into the um, our project in the entry file so we need to incorporate our module and then execute the method start sending 
it the rendered object and now you will see half of the problem resolved which is the resize of the window but <laughs> as you can see the resize is working but no the aspect ratio that we set to into the camera and that's why because the renderer render just once you so the something that we have to do is execute this line again after the resize but it's not a common practice that is common practice is put this line into a loop for example in set interval in a set interval functionality of javascript maybe approximately 30 times by seconds and now you will see the functionality working into a loop in the next chapter we will see how to improve the loop functionality in order to um, handle the stop and the restart of the loop so stay around see you in the next lesson